the um, the, the your your sense of time, how you choose you choose much more carefully, how you spend your time, and what what you what you do. You you have a uh, um, a sense of a, of a third act, and uh, you don't uh, throw away your days quite as uh, uh, cavalierly as you might have before. It is. Um, it's. Uh, you haven't it, been out in a while. Know, we have been, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I've been uh, kind of laying low for the last six months. <laughs> so um, we're, to be able to be out at, at this and, and not knowing when you agreed to accept it that you would be getting the uh, cancer-free verdict that the tumor was gone uh, particularly makes it alive. And to be able to share it uh, with, with Catherine and the family's mm -hmm. also gone through a lot for all these... Uh, all these months, so it's it's a treat. We're, we're we're savoring it and really happy happy to be here. Well, I I stayed away from a few of those um, those photographs uh, uh, that were in showing you pretty uh, emaciated, but I didn't. I don't. I think they got it pretty accurately. It's a, it's an intense. Uh, you know, I was stage four, and so seven weeks of radiation and chemo. It's a it's a it's a workout. Um, so I think that everybody got it pretty accurately. Uh, the only problem is that once you complete your routine, it's a, it's, it's a few weeks uh, to go on um, after that. Generally with um, the fans, you know, we sort of take it for granted. And fans feel like they really know you as they see you on the screen. So when I got cancer, the, the, the outpouring of support uh, and the letters and the personal letters of, from people who were going through, uh, you know, uh, over cancer free or going through or had relatives was, 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 was really stunning. And um, there's a, a, a depth of feeling uh, that happens, I think, because of this. And I certainly know that I look at my relationship with my wife and my children and my loved ones and close family, and you just have much deeper, deeper appreciation. Uh, and I've talked to a lot of cancer survivors about this, and that's the kind of the biggest change that happens is that you, you don't take your, your family uh, or your other loved ones for granted. Well, we had, it was sort of interesting because both when I discovered, we, we, we had an inkling before I found out I had cancer, there was something was going on. And um, we sort of resigned, but I just, I just came back and told Catherine, and we kind of, knew it but you know I truthfully you, you have to get uh, checked out every month now for the next year and I think I'll probably be clicking up my heels another couple of months I'd like to get a couple of more uh, of, uh, clean inspections in there before I just say whoop you do well we got Liberace coming up which uh, Steven Soderbergh and uh, Matt Damon um, he's made a lot of diamonds <laughs> <laughs> which I'm yeah, very happy about yeah, right. I can't said, wait. Wait. <laughs> wait to see all I those other ways um, I, I will pick and we'll pick and choose. You know, it's again, it's you know how you choose to spend your time. So um, we're fortunate. We just had our tenth uh, tenth anniversary. We got two kids uh, together. We try to find the, the parts we can, uh, and if not, enjoy each other's company. Where did I find the most strength? You know, you're you're so jammed in the treatment uh, that it's like a, like the middle of a ball game that you're really not. You're not thinking about you know anything other than just dealing with the next day, um, and uh, I think that's inherent with my career in terms of my stamina, my tenacity, uh, trying to get things done. So uh, it's, I think it's just inherent in your in your character uh, that you knew where it started and you knew where you had to end, and you just did it. And I was fortunate to have Catherine's. Uh, Catherine supporting the kids. The 